I'm very much enjoying the game. Um, I have to say, it is a bit of a drag to be in Seattle for what feels like 10 hours of gameplay so far. Um, like we've been in Seattle a long fucking time. And you're never in any one place in the, in the first game for longer than two hours. And heck, even then, you're in most places for no more than, like, yeah. You're, you're in no location for no more than two hours in the first game. And then in Pittsburgh, you can be up there for up to three to four hours. That part of the game is pretty long. But that's, like, the middle part of the game. And then once you get out of it, you know, everything after that is just one to two hours, really. I mean, the stuff with Tommy's one hour. The stuff with, um... God, just firing up this game and realizing how fucking realistic it looks. That's, uh, that's... Doesn't get old. Um, yeah, and then we've been in Seattle for, like, ten hours. I know it's a different story, but it's just... To me, I know some people have said there's some bad things about this game that don't feel like The Last of Us. That's the only thing that doesn't feel like The Last of Us to me, is the fact that you're in this, we're in the same fucking city for so long. Um, I mean, I can't deny they've poured an insane amount of detail and attention into every aspect of the city, but holy hell, we have been here so long. So long. And, yeah, it's all well, really well made. It's just not, you know, there, you don't get the variety that you get in the first game. This, this kind of globe-trotting, or I should say country-trotting, like a road trip. This game is not a road trip. This is a revenge narrative. But a revenge road trip, bro. Do you know how epic that would be? And yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I want out of the game. So much as, uh... Ah, fuck. What they want to kind of experience Naughty Dog wants to deliver, but... Um... Yeah. Strange whistle. We're gonna run into a dog, aren't we? Oh yeah, dogs are a thing now. Annoying as fuck, dude, I gotta say. Ellie just said, I just have to cross this park. Is that really all you gotta do? They used to sell hot dogs at the stand. Hmm. We got the bow now as well. Ah, look at that foliage. I vividly remember watching the E3 demo for Black Flag. As it was happening, I tuned in right when it was happening. And I just remember seeing Edward Cowie move through the foliage, and I was like, dude, that looks real. No, this looks real. This is fucking... That tech has come such a long way. I mean, you really can't stop the ferns from, like, clipping with each other a little bit. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. It just happens. But it's still super impressive. There is no denying that. And that's from beginning of the gen to the end of the gen, you know? I know last year I was like, man, I am not ready for the PS5 and the Xbox 2. And back when I thought that's what it was going to be called. Now we know it's the Xbox Series X, but... I was like, I am not ready for new consoles yet. Barely feels like this gen's got it. No, no, by now it feels like it's been a pretty full... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> full feeling gen. Whistles. Okay, alright. Oh my god. Hold R1 or move the arrow. Is this gonna have to become a regular mechanic? Being impaled with an arrow will periodically damage you. Okay, so don't get hit with arrows. Who the fuck? Oh my god! Stop whistling! That's it, you fuckers. Oh, you are a terrible shot. Okay. Okay. New faction? Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Here, just kill me, guys. Just kill me. Yep, there we go. Oh, my leg there, dude. My leg was bending against my face. Damn. 
Okay, shit's real now. Shit is real now. Okay, air has been yanked out. Alright, let's get something up close and personal. Let's move. I do not like the whistling. Hey Johnny, what's up? Welcome to the stream. The park that we had to enter last night. Yeah, now we're sneaking through it. And I got fucking shot by an arrow. Dude, this guy's actually tracking me. I'm gonna kill this dude. Maybe we have to use our own fucking strategy against them. I can't see anything from here. Who thought they saw me? Oh, there's a person right there. All we had to do was cross this little park to get over to the hospital. That's all we had to do. Fuck you. Oh, that took a big chunk out of me. Okay. Go ahead. Fuck. Arrow. I've been, I've been impaled. Ow. I've been double impaled. There we go. Okay. Someone's probably still bumping somewhere. I should definitely heal. Oh, there's more, of course. Quit whistling, please. It's annoying. <sighs> Stay in the same spot, please. That'd be a lot very handy. There's another guy off in the distance, but we're gonna get this guy before he gets that far. Don't you fucking step out into the open. Go back here, and you're gonna die. That's our faster stealth kill. That's our faster and quieter stealth kill at work there. What the? Got him. This might be the part of the game where we start guzzling through resources. One guy there. I just killed this person. We're just gonna grab onto her, I think. Kill her where no one will see her. This seems like a good spot. 
so quick. Goodness. Okay. All right. Sweet. Jesus. What do we need? We need more alcohol. These must be the scars. Okay. No matter. Hospital. You better not have strung Nora up. Nora, that's the woman we're looking for. So for some reason, the okay. scars. Here's the road to the hospital. The scars want to kill members of the wolves. So these wolves must be in the business of pissing a lot of people off. Though I think some of the scars are former wolves. So, no, it's hard to say. First Avenue, Yesler Way. Yesler, Yesler. This is a big area. Never know what you might find sitting on a park bench. More ammo, for one. Okay, so we that ate through some of our ammo and shit there. So, uh... It's not too bad. Man, I am hungry for a new pistol, let me tell you. Never know what you might find in the trash. Do I get any skill points? No, not yet. I only have 25. Ooh, more ammo, please. Thank you. Hmm. Aha! What's this? Oh, that's got more uses. Well, that's okay. You know, our thing is uh, probably a one-hit kill weapon. Lake Hill, Seattle Hospital. I think this is it. Watch for red sign. Scars, fuck these people. Stay focused on why you're here. I have a feeling we're going to get drawn into this somehow. Drawn into this... Uh, need to get past that checkpoint gate. ...whole thing. What if it just opened right up? It was like, oh yeah, perfect. That's open. But we don't want to go in there yet. Where do I go now? Yeah, I think that was pretty obvious. The light seems to guide the way. I just wanted to look around first. Okay, let's go inside. yet. Always check the filing cabinet. You never know, there might be ammo in there, of course. Makes sense. Hmm, food. Very much wanted and needed. Sounds like pigeons. Ooh, a trading card. Doppelganger. Whoa. Real name unknown, brain 60, bronze 60. A strange being of unknown origin, this alabaster-skinned humanoid with yellow eyes is capable of assuming the shape of anyone you need him or her to be. The only catch, they need to take physical, make physical contact with the person you wish them to impersonate. The resemblance is near perfect, though if you look closely, you'll see their eyes have given a glint of yellow after the transformation. So if you ever see a friend wearing sunglasses at an inappropriate time, you'd best be on your guard. <laughs> Doppelganger. Interesting. That sounds like pigeons. I hope I'm not nuts. That's the only room we can go through. It 
stopped. That's the that's gotta be some of the best rolled back bed sheets I've seen in a video game. Just look at it. Just that's exactly what most people's beds look like in the morning, you know? After they wake up, get out of bed. That's pretty darn realistic. Take it. Scissors. Alcohol. Health. Health. Mmm, yummy, yummy. There's alcohol. There's paper. There's a fridge I just swung my axe through. Can I break the stove? No, I can't. Wouldn't that be epic if I could just bust the stove open? Want my pizza now! But no, that's not that's not really how it works, I guess. Stairway down. Do I want to take this? Hang on. Let me let me peruse over here a little bit. That's probably the way past the checkpoint, so just to make sure. Always shut the door behind you, fellers. 302. 302. What's significant about that number? Well, this isn't really much of a... This doesn't really stop us. Does this door open both ways? Hang on. It does open both ways. That's not right. <laughs> that ain't right. Dude, I love breaking glass. It's such a satisfying mechanic. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. 40 supplements. We got a lot of supplements in the last five minutes. If anyone finds this note, my wife Paige is waiting for me back in the... That mo... That poor mouse, bro. Look at it. Now the mug is sitting on the mug. Okay, that gets that gets a share button. That's just a little cursed. There we go. Okay. Back to reading the note. No, not the journal. Put that away. Put that away. No, hang on. I hit dying husband's plea. That mouse is still going at it. My wife Paige is waiting for me back at the old conference center at Pike End Convention, right across from the brew pub. Please take her this medicine. She's pregnant and could die without it. I thought I could make it, but I've lost too much blood. I was sprinting through the woods. Heard some whistles, then an arrow pierced my side. Well, that's kind of just what happened to us. I ducked into this place. I think I'm safe. Can't get any worse, right? Starting to feel cold. Stole all this medicine from the hospital. Should have grabbed some blood, too. Bad joke. Never mind. She'll tell you. I'm always making bad jokes. If you find Paige, tell her I went peacefully. Tell her I hope they live happy lives. Tell her I love her. And tell her if it's a boy, don't name the kid after me. Go with the name you picked. Simon Vickers. You know, I come to think of it, we did find a message from a woman named Paige somewhere else in another room. And that wasn't that far off. That was just, you know, earlier, right outside the theater. Damn, dude. The environmental storytelling in this game is nuts. Just being able to piece together, like, these almost, like, meta stories of just people... Uh, failing to come together or the falling outs that people who are connected to each other have during this whole thing. The, sh the way that bookshelf is positioned just seems off to me. Got a refund for our bottle. And in 
into the hallway we go. So it's The Last of Us Part 2, Part 3? Yes, in a sense it's part it's part 2.3, in fact. Indeed. What's up, Nova? Welcome to the stream. My name's Jelly. Video most popular video game character is named Ellie. Number one, Ellie, Last of Us series. Number two, Ellie from Borderlands. <laughs> Hi y'all. Okay. Got some of me some ammo. Take that trash cans. Whoa. This is kind of sick. Look at this. What are these? Are these like, uh... Are these like bicycle wheels on the wall? Like bicycle wheel art? Or what are they? Because those, like, those look like tires and those look like the spokes. Or you know what? They might just be the ins... Uh, like the, the rims of a tire. I don't know. They look interesting. Dude, this street corner pops off. It's popping off for no reason. This feels like a street corner in the city I I uh, live near. Kind of live in the, the limits of. Just art on the wall. It's cool. Yeah. So now, for any of you who watch the, uh, the PlayStation... What was that? PlayStation Now or whatever? It wasn't called that. But whatever they had, like, two weeks ago when they were talking about this game. This is... We're at... We've officially arrived at that part of the game, I think. Dude, they're hanging. Should I have intervened? Oh. Oh, gross. Ew. Oh, gross. Now he is free. Now, now he is free. free. Search for stragglers. Make sure you guide us. Fuck me, dude. We're not getting close to them if we can. Lily did. I did. Would you trust people who talk like that? Well, did you hear what Lily did? Perfectly fine. We're in good distance from them. Oh fuck! Almost wasn't for a second, dude. All the hanged people here. Holy shit! Okay, let's go over here. This looks interesting. Oh, there's a dude over there though. Hmm. Okay, they're behind us. Let's keep it that way. Okay, I can get over there probably. see me stand right fucking there there we go Shut it. got him okay dude that quick stealth kill dude so good okay there's a person there oh they're coming this way fuck so high for horizon zero dawn forbidden west yeah dude Oh no. Yeah, that game's gonna kick ass, dude. Looks so good. Ah, these guys give me the creeps. Oh no, they're whistling to each other, like communicating. Shut it. Oh man, there's so many of them. They didn't, they're not saying a word. They're just whistling to one another. They're burning his body? Dude, I have never seen video game NPCs act like this. This is actually impressive. I'm just hanging out here in the bush, guys. Someone can just walk over me and find me. OK. 
Okay. Guy over there still. Woman down there. But yeah, man, Forbidden West looks so good. Just the water, the fucking all the new animals and creatures and shit. The locations. To me, that's like, that's like, um, that's like The Last of Us if it was like, uh, <laughs> like set in the future, I guess. Because, you know, you have two overgrown sort of civilizations dealing with their own, you know, post-apocalyptic world, trying to make rules and laws of it and such. Last of Us is definitely the more grimy, uh, selection of the two. Fuck, there's too many people around. Okay, don't you dare walk into this bush. I'm gonna fucking kill you if that happens. I will fucking kill you. My legs might be poking out a little far. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get that in here. Oh, yeah, dude, the underwater looked amazing. I'm not gonna get seen. Ellie, you need to move. Straggler! Fuck get me. The wolf! There we go. I am not a wolf. I think we're good. We got some good distance. We probably missed a lot of supplies, but that's okay. Now we're in a parking garage. This is probably the hospital parking garage. People above us. Got it. Dude, my axe is nuts. Look at this. Just a massive axe. Lots of health around. That was a health pack. That was a good find. Oh shit, they're gonna come down, aren't they? Yep. Let's see if we can jump them then. No, there's not a whole lot of places for them to... I'm gonna get seen. we got there's one above us there's one over here <sighs> I hate the whistling <laughs> got you <laughs> got you At least they don't have arrows. Oh shit. I should I spoke too soon. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm gonna die. That's it. Reload, reload. Thank you. Killing myself. Holy hell, bro. Oh. Fucking move, move, Ellie, move. All right. Okay, wasted two bullets there, but that's okay. Got him. 
Some of these motherfuckers are still alive. And I need health. That looks promising. Okay, that's just... Oh, but you know what? I can craft health. There we go. Thank God. I like this part of the game a lot. I was just complaining at the start of the stream. I feel like we've been in Seattle for 10 hours of this game. This is a, I, I like the area we're in now a lot. Because um, these are enemies we've never seen before in The Last of Us. It's not like a different type of zombie. Sorry, infected. Um, it's not a different type of hunter or soldier. These are like cultists. And that's a little fucking scary. And I don't like how they don't talk. They just whistle to each other. There's... Oh, they're below us. You know what? Should we hunt them down? I probably have a couple vantage points from up here. Yeah, I do. Good shot. Okay, there we go. Got him. Jesus. That was it. That was the last person. Oh, these people are fucking nuts. Tommy, hope you're doing better than I am. I we have not seen Tommy in a forever, it feels like, so I don't think he's doing too hot. But also Tommy's been through a lot of shit, so maybe we should expect better of him, but I don't know. Uh, signs are not looking good, folks. I don't think. I don't think they are. Okay, we were here earlier. Ah, okay. So, uh, look around this area a little bit. You never know what you'll... They're whistling again. More arrows? Yeah, sure. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna attach the motherfucking silencer. Many fallen wolves today. Come then. Fuck me, dude. I'm gonna get flanked really quickly if I'm not careful. Oh, fuck you. Man, they're just eating. I'm just I'm just eating shit, dude. No, you don't. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, just terrible dodging. Sorry the sound is cutting out, guys. That's a... Something wrong with this, uh, this, this cable goes into my controller. It just cuts out once in a while. Okay, now we know that they're here. Let me not make so much noise. Yeah, the sound cutting out is super bad. Improved aiming stability. Oh, look at that. Huge, huge. Wait, can I get the next one too? Yes, I can. F move faster while aiming. Big, big help. Listen mode range. Okay. I'm starting to use listen mode a little bit more. Okay, let's try and go with our strategy from before. We know where they're going to be at now, so. It probably did. Okay, I'm just gonna move out of the way for now. They are blocking the way forward, but that's okay. 
We're just gonna hang back here. And take them out silently. Nothing around. Same here. Shit. I had a really good opportunity there to end someone's life. Stop whistling. Gonna head out, this game looks really nice. It does, when I'm not getting, you know, tortured and pursued and murdered and shit. But uh, thanks for dropping by, Nova. Nova. Uh, see you next time, buddy. How'd she notice? What the fuck? That's it. Oh my god. You can't get away. Damn. Oh. We saw fucking Ellie's face get blown off there. That was nice. Oh, they know what I saw when I saw it. Okay, now we need to move. They were going directly where we were going. So now we need to move in the opposite direction. Clearly. Quick, 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 quick. Good. No noise. There's at least two more people. I'm gonna she's gonna turn around suddenly. Imagine you find the body of your fallen comrade and that's right where you get shanked. Oh that's a good weapon there, but we still got two hits left on this axe, so I'm gonna ride it out. I'm lucky I didn't get spotted there, because he did exactly... Good. It's funny how some of them are carrying around, like, tape in their pockets. Okay. I hope we're not here for much longer. I hope we have a reason Where's to leave. Fucking hospital. Oh, huh, hang on. What's this? Wow, this is a blown out bathroom if I've seen one. Hey, we're doing pretty good in health now. Need more uh, more alcohol. Actually, no. What is that that we need? That one drop resource. Yeah, it's alcohol. That's what I thought. Uma. Numa numa de. Numa 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 de. Fuck infrastructure. Gonna knock over every computer desk here. Oh shit! Boss battle? Alright, we can't get close. Got it.
shit. Alright. That's what you get. Jesus Christ. Right. Hmm. That's probably a one hit killer by itself, but it's only got two hits. And we only have two hits on ours, so. That was an unwelcome jump scare. You know what? This looks a lot like uh, the original E3 demo for this game. They were cross cutting it with, I think, Ellie fighting these scar people and then. Um, Starbucks? Rustin. I thought I saw Starbucks for a second for some reason. Just uh, mental association. I want your fucking muffins! They don't have any muffins left, unfortunately. Hang on, what about in here? Nope, no muffins. No trading cards in the case, either. Ooh, nice. Hang on, we might have been... Yeah, this is where we came in. I just missed stuff. Okay. Merci. Okay, let's move forward. Make sure everything's reloaded. I mean, kind of running short here on everything, but it's okay. I wish I wish it was like triangle was still uh, the reload button, but they want triangle to be the pickup item button. I mean, I guess contextually everything makes sense. You know, there's not many other buttons that can be reload. Though I would I would rather like right bumper be reload or left bumper be reload if um if you got rid of listen mode, but it's okay. It's all right, I guess. Hitting R2 bots. I mean, hitting R2 is just like... I always feel like I'm going to hip fire my gun, but this series does not have hip firing. It only has aim shooting. Aim firing. So. Okay. Nice little vending machine. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, Ellie. Don't want to go up yet. I just want to go over here see if I'm not missing anything. Let's run over here. We came through here, right? No, we did not. Well, it's, they probably both go up the same way. So let's just, since we just noticed this, and this is probably the least traveled path, the lesser traveled let's path. This. Yeah, let's try this. Exactly. Scissors, or blade. Oh, I can make stuff. Captain's gonna teach stuff. Huh? All right, hang on. I can make something, I can make a health kit. Okay. I guess three is the max of anything we can hold. 
What is yellow here that I never looked at? Oh, Leia's known Leia's photograph. Leia's photograph. This was from like yesterday. Got it. Okay. Ooh, upgrade manual. Thank you. Organic chemistry, concepts and practice. I don't think a chemistry book would be very good, Ellie, but that's okay. You're into what you're into. Explosives. That's an upgrade tree? Really? Dude, explosive arrows. Holy hell. With explosive tips. Trap mines. Improved Molotovs. Flame radius is increased. More mine traps. More explosive arrows. So explosive arrows right at the gate is just the useful thing. So it doesn't look like there's really much anything else for us to unlock. I think we got all the uh, training manuals, though. There should be an achievement that pops when we did. So maybe we're still missing one. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad we found almost all the we found. There couldn't have been any training manuals we missed up to this point in the game. There just couldn't have been. There was that one really well hidden one in the truck, but I found that one too. You know, I, I didn't I didn't give up. I found it before I left Seattle. Downtown Seattle. Okay. Wide open roof. Don't like it. It's right there. It's right there. It's probably heavily guarded, too. Guess we'll see. wet hair. <gasps> Always check the corners and the bushes for trading cards. We've not gotten a trading card in a little bit, so maybe, uh, maybe there's some on the way. I don't like how long and stretching this bookshop is, but uh, that's okay. Or whatever this is, a corner store of some kind. I keep hearing gunfire at odd hours. We have no one to protect us from this crazy cult. Mm. We can't wait for the wolves to find us. We have to trek their, to their base and join them. I've started slashing, stashing supplies in the safe, heading out to scout the best route. We'll be back with the plan ASAP. Be careful. Almost forgot the code is 385523. Okay, so now there's a safe we have to find. That looks like it might be in there. Huh. Now this feels like a, a Last of Us environment. Can't go that way. Nothing we can do there. Somehow I gotta find the safe. Can't be far. Let's go back. Maybe there's a hidden doorway or a glass window I can break. An air vent I can crawl through, an air duct. 
Hmm, the door's blocked. Um... Not a whole lot, huh? A safe. Where else is the safe in here? Am I not seeing it? It wouldn't be out in the open, would it? It would be behind something. Well, let me put it... Oh, what the fuck? How did I miss this? This is so gapingly obvious. Okay, here we go. There's like 38 something. 38, 55, 23. Okay. Thirty-eight, fifty-five, twenty-three. There. Woohoo! And a health kit. Good, 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 good fucking shit, boys and girls. Uh, let's get another mall. Well, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. There's a lot of supplies in here anyway, so. Two of each. Molotovs are real nice. I do like using them. And the stun shit. The stun bombs or whatever. So useful. So very useful. Though I think we're going to try and go down the aim tree. Well, my next upgrade will go towards explosives. Oh, which I can get right now, right? You bet your ass I can. Hang on, let me see. 40, 40, 40. Yeah, let's get, let's get explosive arrows. That's going to be useful. Hell yes, it will. Okay. More arrows. Oh, no, explosive arrows. Explosive and binding. We have tons of that, so let's do it. What else uses binding? Just our melee weapon and our actual arrows. Those are the only things that use binding. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's go full on it. I mean, yeah, we can upgrade a melee weapon, but we actually need to find the melee weapons first, you know? I like how she took her gun and took the silencer off it before she put it back on the table. Okay, what do we want to use? Well, I, I'm very partial to the bolt action rifle, that's for sure. The upping the capacity on that would be very useful, very life-saving. Same thing with the pump shotgun. Though, the bolt action is a little more useful to me than the pump is. The bow has been very good. The draw speed is definitely, ironically, the big drawback. Yeah, I'm feeling either the bolt capacity or the bow draw speed. How much draw speed? 50. That uses everything we got. Bolt action capacity. Also 50. Okay, so 3 plus magazine capacity, and it also ups the reload speed. That's tempting. We never have to worry about it again, basically. Knocking speed, draw speed. What's knocking? <laughs> um, you know what? Let's get the bolt action one. I had some really close scrapes with the scars there, and higher capacities would have saved even more of my life, so let's do it. Far and away, easily the coolest gun customization table in any game I've played. There's no contest, really. <laughs> she puts it on. Man, the, just the obsession with detail, dude. I just love it. Okay, explosive arrows. So we're going to have to have fun with that. And this is what? The bolt action? I like how it's changed the icon, too. Man, there's so many things this game does to be like, hey, that thing you did? Yeah, you can see that you did it, you know? It's like... You know, you can feel that you have the upgrade because it, it's like, hey, you, you got this upgrade. Like, you know. And we're going to remind you that you got it so you feel better about the fact that you got it. Now that you have it, here it is. As opposed to, you won't notice until you use it, you know. 
I already know I got it. You know? Damn, look at that. Clip capacity feels good. Hopefully that means we can carry more ammo for it too. We gotta cross the river of death here. seen a trading card in a while either. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Yep. There she blows. Did you find her yet? Shit. Okay, well, no one was looking. Search in the area. I'm not happy about it. Oh shit. <laughs> Hmm. Not really sure where I'm supposed to go from here. Only that I can hide over here, that's it. It is so hard to see underwater. Can I not go underneath this? No, I can't. What am I supposed to do? Somehow I can get over there. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> oh, bless me. Uh. Damn. Hang on, what's this? Right here, this is a great thing. Nope. Oh, you know what? This looks like something I can go underneath. Aha! That was very difficult to see. I had to really lean in for that one. Okay. Oh, this is the E3, uh, not the E3, the, the, the PS, uh, the PlayStation demo thing they did recently. This person's playing the fucking PS Vita, dude. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Easy. Easy. You know a girl named Nora? Sure, yeah. Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. Damn. Goodness. Just the blood squirting out. Dude, she's just playing on her PS Vita. Right? That is what that is, right? Yeah. Because in the future, you know. PS Vita's bro. We gotta get through our video games still. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is definitely where the demo thing was, and that was intense. I remember there was doggies, and I remember it looked hard. So we're just gonna be real easy going here in this hospital here. Ellie fucking killed that woman. She's just playing video games, dude. Now she's dead. She's just like us. She's just playing video games, and now she's dead. Just like we're going to be by the end of 2020. 
I didn't come in through here, did I? Looks like there's something I can dive through at the bottom. Aha! Hang on. A wrench? Hmm. How useful will that be? I don't know. You know what? I say, fuck it. Let's take it with us. Yeah, there's a really good axe underwater. But if they, if you're willing to hide a wrench underwater, you know what? It must be pretty good, you know? Oh, fuck. Be careful. I thought she was going to throw the bottle, dude. Yeah, a wrench can do some damage. Plus, it's just cool looking, you know? Okay, I need more binding to actually use it. Hopefully, I don't regret grabbing the wrench. Because, I mean, again, a wrench. It seems like it'd be pretty deadly. Maybe not as deadly as an axe, but, you know... A wrench, bro. You could fucking hit someone in the skull with that, right? They're dead. Hey, we get the job done. I bet you do. Oh, this is not fair. I'm telling you, it's a data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure, I'll keep that in mind. Lots of attempts on humanizing the NPCs here in this game too. But that's our guys executing those freaks. Hey, did you hear why we're all getting called up to the club? I heard that Isaac wants us to retake all of down too. I heard we might take the fight to them. <laughs> no way. Not after what went down last time. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. What I heard. Guy's gonna take a leak in the bushes, right? Don't turn around suddenly, don't turn around suddenly. Can't take all of us. Got you. There we go. I wanna see what's in that tent, but that tent will attract anyone's gonna see who's inside that tent the moment they coincide of it, so. I need to move, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. Where'd he go? He turned around. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dumpster here. What do we say? Check the tent or say fuck it? I just want to briefly check the tent. That's all. back through. Make sure there's not anything up there that I'm, I'd be missing. Oh, there's more stuff that I missed, actually. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just get whatever here is whatever is over here in the corner. Nope, nothing was in the corner. I got you baited. Okay. Let's move. Enemy. That was sounds, right? Nope. Well, they still know we're here though. A little too close to the outside for my comfort. Don't fire any bullets, sweetie. Push in! I got it! Fuck. She went back that way. I think 
my silencer broke. Quick. Oh, now the dog's here. We're not killing the dog. I draw the line at the dog. It's alright, human lives. That's one thing. The dog... No. Shit, shit, shit. Get on my... Give me, please. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Leave me be. doing so well up until the dog <laughs> not not when the dog bit me when the dog started chasing me i was like yeah i draw the line at the dog okay 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 there's people on the inside be weary yeah we made a wrong move right as we turned inside so let's not make that same mistake okay Okay, we're good now. We're good. We're not going to run into this situation again. Oh, I could have snuck into the side there, too, it looks like. Alright. Now they're coming back through. Maybe? What are they doing? I really don't like killing people with names, you know, so, uh, not my cup of tea, not, not a thing I'm a fan of doing, so we're gonna avoid doing it if we can. When I said I was not gonna do it, I was just kidding. I didn't want to do it in front of people, is what I meant. Who the fuck's out there? Sweep this whole fucking place. Shit, people are running around. Shit's not good. <laughs> Got to use the sans pistol. Someone's messing with us. That's right, dearies. Go on through. Fuck. Dude, I'm screwed. What's up? I got you covered. Someone is gonna see me. I had smoke bombs. Okay. Look alive! She flipped back there! Watch it! Bring her down! 
I'm dead. I was just getting picked off, dude. Okay, I need to kill people. I actually need to kill people. Damn, dude. I don't want to kill people. <laughs> oh, they spawned me here? Really? Okay. Well, I guess this is before anyone had an inkling that I was here, so... Okay, I can safely get this person. <gasps> By the desk! Take it easy. Laura. Okay. Sounds Ah shit, the dog's coming out. I kind of just want to restart this again. Not alert the dog if I can. Dude, man, the NPCs in this game, they, they do not play around. They, they don't realize that they're in a video game. That's how serious they are. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. We gotta get stealth killing. We gotta get on that, seriously. Who, she, who are they talking about? Shit to her. Just because they're friends. My issues with Nora, she better get So they were not talking about Nora there. They're talking about someone else. I wasn't there. Look, whatever happened, it's gonna come out. They might have been talking about Abby. Wouldn't that be interesting? All right, they're gonna find his body. It's not gonna be too long before they, that happens. So let's move. We just need to get stealthy and get killing. Oh, this also would have been a way in. Seems like. There's a dog in here somewhere. Maybe. We're not doing too bad. Got something, Bear? Found something for you? <sighs> really? Oh, man. We gotta throw off their scent then. Might be someone here. I'll see what's up. Got her! Right here! What? The fuck? Four hits? That doesn't seem very good. Oh man, I'm bad. <laughs> this one, this this part's got me a little stumped, but that's only because there's so many ways to do it. 
Okay, they got me over here when I killed the last guy. So let's just keep moving forward then. Let's keep plugging forward. This guy will die next. Ellie's fucking face, dude. It's so intense. I'm dropping the wrench. The wrench is useless. The hammer's more interesting. That's for darn sure. That's like the long way around. See what that does for us. Oh, I see the problem. <sighs> and we're so close. What? Dude. Listen, I'm sorry, Pooch. I don't want to do this. Sorry. Oh, my God. You're dead, you hear me? Oh, watching Ellie die over and over is just is, uh, not pleasant. <laughs> Try this again. Okay, maybe we just need to not kill the guy by the window, because then the dog gets her scent, and then shit flies south. Without fail. So let's just stay away from the dog. Yeah, let's go this way. This way doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, we missed some supplies, but it's okay. Hang on. I have the worst setup in the world for my... Because every time I don't have the cord for my headset laying over my lap, I always end up rolling over the cable with my chair accidentally. And then that gets tangled with the cord going to my PS4 controller, which is how you're able to hear sound on stream. So it's uh, the setup can be a little frustrating if I move too much or whatever. And it gets unfurled or whatever the case may be. Ah, I see. Okay, they were seeing me from a distance. Please don't go this way. This is a big risk, but we're gonna take it. Just kidding. That dude's wandering around all, I don't know what's what's his deal, but yeah. The, uh, the evolution of stealth guards over the years has, has uh, progressed quite a bit. You know, they don't just walk in a straight line anymore. They tend to wonder quite a bit. All right, sorry, man. Uh, I'm going to kill you right here. I'm sorry. I, just, I need to get through this door. Okay. Okay, that part's over. Generators, man. What, what would the future do without them? Eventually, this civilization is going to run out of gas. Eventually. I mean, fuck, it's been 20 years and somehow... I mean, I guess what there's less people and the supply and demand is so high, you know, there's less of a chance of running out, you know, for a long time, but... uh Honestly, the civilization of the future, once they run out of gas, or once they, you know, stop uh, my fueling gas and stuff, you can't get electricity and shit anymore. You, you need to go back to the Stone Age, really. It is really dark in here. Waiting area. 
area of family medicine. Supply lists, must, alcohol, iodine, gauze, muslin, latex, morphine, bandages, gel, gel burn, if available, infra, intra suis infusion kits, chemostatic dressings, blood pressure cuff, antibiotics, stretchers, I think we got them all, trauma shears, rapid application splints, open chest injury shields, Two bear away. Be sure to dig into the corners of the second floor. There's still rooms we haven't opened that might have things worth taking. Don't go near the lower levels. Something tells me we're going to be end, end up going there later. Just because they mentioned it in a letter. So, cool. Not going to break any glass unless we have to. As tempting as it is, and I know I have the option. That's fucking Ice Cube. Today was a good day. I got juice because I got me a drop right? top and I can drop the death. I can make the ass drop. <laughs> I can't believe they put fucking Ice Cube in this game. Cube's all pip. Okay. Gotta say today was a good day. How do I get over there? Ah, air vent. Follow the music. How does the song start? Um, my mama cooked a breakfast with no hog. Uh, I. Maybe if you posted more guards, Abby would still be in a cell. Why the fuck was Abby here? Stupid. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm gonna say. Am I sliding backwards? Knock yourself out. I've got work to do. Nora. I'm not going down for her, man. What did Abby do? What is Abby doing that's so different from the rest of these people? I have a feeling soon we're going to be playing the last few hours from her perspective. Because we played as her early in the game. And I don't think that's the last time we'll ever play as her. That can't be the last time we play as her. So I have a feeling we're gonna cut back to her before long. Can't believe they had Ice Cube Today Was a Good Day playing. What an interesting song choice. I fucking love that song, by the way. I think I've played it in pre show a few times in the past. Gotta drop. Alright, so. All in all, after a few failed attempts, we got through that encounter pretty well. So we're probably gonna exit this way, but I'm just gonna collect shit in the meantime. Improved trap mines. Now, let's say for listen mode range. Just gonna get everything in this hallway so we have a quick exit later. Okay. Here we go. Don't scream. Put that shit down. Nora. You remember me? Yeah. You remember me. What do you want? 
Abby was here earlier. Where'd she go? I don't know. You shoot me. The sound will have every soldier come running. You'll still be dead. Tell me where she went and I'll think about letting you go. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Or maybe you should have stayed the fuck out of Jackson. Where's Abby? You still hear his screams? What? I hear them every night. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that little bitch got what he deserved. You fucking... <laughs> Fuck, every time. There, but that's okay. What? Where the hell did she go? Oh my god. Got you. Infect. Okay, the lower levels. What did I say? The fuck's the power doing on? You know what? Find the trespasser. Not even gonna fucking hesitate. You know what would really bring out the clickers? Some fire. You're gonna come after me while the clickers are attacking? Oh shit, they're they're gonna figure out really quickly that I don't wear my mask. Did they all bounce? Yeah, they might have all bounced already. So now I just gotta sneak out of here. <laughs> Quieter and quicker, that's the idea. Okay. Come over here, please. Come over here. Oh, there's still a soldier here. Ah, he needs to go. That's 
with that. Just the one clicker then. Got my bottle back. What can I make? Another silencer. Yeah, I kind of broke that in the pursuit, didn't I? Let's try and use the revolver if we're gonna be loud. Because crafting that silencer, this is gonna use up resources. Okay, you loud motherfucker, you wanna fight? All right, now let's see if everyone who ran out comes back. Because they ran away. I don't think all of them died. That is a big skeleton, dude. I don't, I don't think I've ever met anyone that tall. I don't think even Tommy or Joel are that tall. That's a big dude. Okay, I just need to get out of here. Did I pick it up? Guess I did. Nope, nothing yet. You know it would be great to get this level with all these wolves running around? A new gun. A new gun would be nice. play sneak around are we yeah you're kind of trapped down here she's trapped bro sounds like a runner Coughing? No, that might be Nora. Something happened to her. Maybe she got bitten. Oh, she doesn't have a mask. Right, the spores. This is dark. <laughs> There's nothing like this in the first game this severe. Cool. Oh, bro, look at her fucking veins. Where's Abby? You have breathing spores. Flies anymore. Where's Abby? I'm fucking dead anyway. Why would I tell you anything? Good point, actually. <laughs> because I can make it quick. Damn, dude. Think about what he did. How many people are dead because of him? See? Last chance. It's true. It's 
Totally true. I'm not giving up, my friend. The hard way it is then. Can I not do it? I'm not gonna do it. I don't think the game is giving me a choice not to do it though. If I wait long enough, it will go away. <laughs> I wanna see what happens when I don't do it. I think it's on loop. Fine. Oh. Alright, we're gonna keep doing it then, I guess. Alright, Ellie, that's, uh, that's a little dark there, what you're doing. That's okay. Yeah, she won. <laughs> then they killed your friend. You wanted revenge. It's simple. Ellie tortured a woman today. Beat her to death. It's me. But Ellie could never be a psychopath. Ellie. I mean, at least right now she couldn't be because she. Are you okay? She feels, you know. She still has empathy. Is that your blood? No, not my blood. Someone else's. She's hiding out near the, in this aquarium. Okay. Dude. Holy fuck. Let's get you cleaned up. Dude. <laughs> What's the song Joel sang? If I ever were to lose you, I would surely lose mm -hmm. myself. I think that's Ellie right now. Holy fuck, bro. God. Goodness. I made her talk. Damn, dude, that Ashley Johnson, bro, she is popping off in this game. Ellie steals so many scenes. Two years earlier, St. Mary's Hospital. Why is that familiar? Isn't that, isn't that originally where, right, that's originally where Ellie was rescued from by Joel. So, um, Nora knew about Ellie. How many other people know? And is that the reason Abby killed him? Because, I mean, they're totally correct. Uh, Joel fucking doomed humanity. 
I mean, that's that's just an undeniable fucking truth. Left a lot of stuff behind. So Ellie is back here on her own volition, I see. Two years ago, when she was 17. This is like an Uncharted 4 when you're looking through all the uh, the boxes, the cases and stuff. Come on. In um, the one woman's it's house. Gotta be something. Why'd you all leave? Because fucking Joel shot the leader of the Fireflies. Is she gonna? So she's gonna? Is she gonna put this together? Or I should say, has she already put this together in her past? Wait, think about that for a second. Uh, fucking... What's her name? Said so many more people would be alive... Because of him. And Ellie didn't really blink. Which could possibly mean she knows what, what you know, what that cost. By this time tomorrow, we'll have altered the course of history. This must be her brain? That's the part of the brain that's infected but hasn't progressed hmm. what is this this is brain stuff the growth is clearly mutated let's see if the test results corroborate our theory this is big is that me I presume so Another one. I already looked at this. Now that's an x ray. Journal. I thought I could let it go. I wanted to let it go. He's going to freak out when he realizes I've gone. I should be at the hospital by tonight. I don't know who or what I expect to find. All I know is that I'm anxious and scared. No one is here. The place is clearly abandoned. Fuck it, I'm going inside. There's gotta be something. Hang on, we missed some stuff here. Let's read. I just had the worst, best day of my life. Cat was finishing another session on my arm and then climbed, climbed on top of me and kissed me. I threw her off of me. I yelled at her. I thought I infected her. I mean, I'm infected, sort of. I don't know how, what, how the fuck this shit transfers. What if she turns? What could I tell people? So this must have been the first person she's kissed after she's been infected. Uh, she's got family. I told her we should have take a walk. I lied and said I never kissed anyone and that I was just nervous. She's actually sweet about my freak out. We spent the day walking and talking. Then she came to my place for a movie. She fell asleep. I stayed up all night watching her, looking for signs of infection. The next morning she was fine. Nothing. I'm not contagious and Cat likes me. What a mortal coaster. <laughs> Cat's the fucking best. That is all. On patrol today, Jesse told me Cat referred to me as her girlfriend. She's so open about everything. She talks to her mom about us. She held my hand when we were all at the lake, kissed me in front of our friends. Everyone seems to know except for Joel. Should I tell him? I don't know. I don't know how he'd react. That's cool, dude. That's so cool. So fucking genuine. I love it. I feel like Dean is avoiding me. Dean Kat says she's just jealous about how I'm spending my time. I keep trying to invite Dean along, but she keeps saying she's busy. Person on now cropping, you trace constellations in the sky. I trace ink on your skin that covers the scars, the burns. Oh shit. I'm done reading. Decorating the darkness like stars. That's pretty. She wanted to cover her she wanted to cover her um her scar with a tattoo, it seems. Fireflies.
this is the thing we have to keep in mind as well. You know, I refer to my, you know, my friend Brody when we were playing through the first game. Um, that, uh, we don't know if, even if they'd killed Ellie to procure the part of her brain, that they would have actually successfully been able to make a cure. We don't know. We don't know if it would have been that cut and dry and simple. That would have been the only way to evaluate the possibility, but we don't know if killing her would have actually truly resulted in a cure. We know that it was probably the best chance of it, but we just don't know if it actually made a cure. You know, I'm glad I cataloged and collected all this rare hospital equipment, and as soon as I'm done here, I hear that there's no use for it anymore. I cannot fucking believe you guys voted to disband it. I get it. This was a miracle that slipped through our fingers. It's fucking shitty, but the whole world is shitty. How can we give up like this? What now? Settle, see, settle in QZs? Join some third-rate resistance groups? Fuck that. Someone still has to care. I'll spend the rest of my life trying to find them or die trying Scott. We haven't met a Scott yet. Because a miracle slipped through our fingers. There's no way. I'm certain Ellie knows by now. In fact... When the game starts, it's possible that Ellie knows. And shit. It's even implied. Was that a rat? I don't like rats. Uh, it's even implied at the end of the last game that she knows. You know? So, like... It's bound to get out eventually. That's the thing. This is where she was operated on? This feels like the same room. Her clothes, right? Her Walkman. Those people have left already. Marlene. I don't know which group I'm gonna join. I was one of the ones that wanted to go after the smuggler and the girl. So she knows. Wait. She dies after Ellie. Joel kills her. So, is it possible the only person who could have procured a vaccine already had died before they found her? Oh no. The hell are you thinking? Oh no. Off in the middle of the night like that. You talk to me. You don't just leave me a goddamn note. Oh no. Tell me. What happened here? If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. But if you tell me the truth, I'll go back to Jackson. No matter what it is. Would have killed you.
So I stop them. There's more to that. There's more than that. Damn. day three so Sheen found out wow so it really makes you consider the context of the beginning of the game when she decides to go after this whole thing for Joel because um, you know because I don't think there's that innocent warmth there but you can very clearly see just how much Joe loves her still you know that can't be ignored so it's a bit of a it's a it's um it's very complex you know I think sometimes the decisions our parents make for us the decisions our parents you know it, make on our behalf but aren't actually decisions we want even though they benefit us uh, can be one of the harder, hardest things to deal with I think growing up I mean I know I've been that's just something I've grappled with over the last recent few years is just realizing the decisions yeah. my parents made for me I see and how fundamentally I disagree with them, and how if I was raising myself, if I was the person now, or at least the person in the near future was raising me as a kid, I would have done things differently. <laughs> but, you know, I think that's, that's how it is for a lot of people. Um, certainly, I think what Joel does is on an extreme level... Um, an extreme level but again I mean I you know just speaking on personal experience I know there are things my parents have done will do for me there is if for instance if hundreds of people wanted to kill me they would kill every each and every single one of them just to save me that is that is a decision I know my parents would be willing to make now of course now all context removed I don't know why hundreds of people would be wanting to kill me but, you know, in the context of Ellie, where she's dying for a greater cause so that the future can live in a world that is only capable of taking from her, not really ever giving that much. You know, the only things that she's really been given are, are you know, what the, the connection she has with these people in the camp. But she's lost so much more and continues to lose things. So it's like... You know, I, and, and that's just something I firmly stand by. I, I feel like in the last game, you know, yes, the, the love Joel has for Ellie is immense. But, yo, know, what's up, Nick? Um, but, yeah, dude, he fucked over humanity. There's no fucking denying that. The and if that's not what Ellie wanted, he shouldn't have done it. 